Today I am going to do something, uh, <laughs> something that will blow your mind. I am going to make a solution that will make the world's biggest bubbles. So this gigantic machine is the bubble maker and today I will use it and make, uh, well, bubbles. Okay, let's get serious now. Hey, what do you think? Will this solution bring us any success? Oh no! This solution failed. But never mind, I can still pop them. I love to pop bubbles and I know you also love doing this, right? Pop! Pop! <laughs> Did you know that bubbles are formed when air gets trapped in a soap and by popping them, I'm freeing that air. Now you know that bubbles are formed by air. But have you ever wondered what air is made up of? Let's find out. To do that, I have a fun activity for you. We'll now use a candle, a flame torch and a transparent glass. So first, we need to light the candle and I want you to observe it for a few minutes. Let's see what will happen when we place the glass upside down on it. Observe closely what's happening to the flame. Hey look, the flame is slowly going away. And poof! But how did this happen? No need to worry when I am here to tell you how it happened. Before we placed the glass, the flame continued as it was having an unlimited supply of air from its surroundings. But after putting the glass, the supply of air became limited and the flame went away. Does it mean that there is something in the air that helps the flame to burn? Any guesses? Well, the oxygen in the air helps the flame to burn. Did you know? 21% of the air is made of oxygen. So now, I'm wondering if oxygen is 21%, then what makes up the rest? Nitrogen makes up the most of the air. 78% of the air is made of nitrogen. Whoa! There's a lot of nitrogen in the air. Speaking of nitrogen, let me share a secret with you. <laughs> mm. Packet of chips are filled with nitrogen to keep them crunchy for a longer period of time. What do you think? Are there only oxygen and nitrogen in the air? No, there are some other components as well. Let's look for another one with an experiment. Here, we have lime water, but hold on! You should never confuse it with lemon juice. It is calcium hydroxide, commonly called lime water. And this one has a special property. Wait, we will see just in a bit. Look, here is a test tube filled with lime water. Have you noticed? Mm, the solution has turned milky. Hmm. Are you also wondering or it's just me thinking how did that happen? Well, it's because when carbon dioxide reacts with lime water, it turns the clear lime water milky. Carbon dioxide makes up 0.04% of the air. Okay, I think we know now enough about air to make a bubble again. Let's try again. I hope this time it should work. Hey look, there is something happening with the bubble making machine. It is droplets on the surface. Can you guess what is causing this? Did the water leak out through the machine? Or did they appear magically? 
<laughs> no, nothing like that. I think the machine has cooled a bit when we started making the bubbles with this new formula. But what made this formation of water droplets on the machine? It is because air also contains water vapor. When air comes in contact with a cold surface, the water vapor changes to liquid and forms droplets. We call it condensation. Did you know, early in the morning, you might have seen water droplets on grass. How are they formed? It's because the water vapor in the air condenses due to low temperature in the morning. Wait, hold on. Why is dust and smoke coming out from the machine? Let me fix it. Phew. Okay. Fixed it. But this reminds me of some other components of air as well. There are dust particles and smoke. You might have noticed the dust particles floating in the beam of light. Just like this. And also while playing in the park. Now here you can see smoke coming out again. But how does the smoke enter into the air? Any guesses? The smoke in air comes from natural activities such as volcanic eruptions, forest fires and human activities like smoke coming from vehicles as well as from factories. Let us see how the bubble turns up now with all these components mixed up together. What are your thoughts? Will this work? Okay, while this machine creates bubbles, how about a quick recap? Air is made of oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. It also contains water vapor, dust and smoke. We breathe air constantly and sometimes we play with it. <laughs> Who knew? It was so complex and made of so many components. Next time you play with bubbles, think about all the stuff that is trapped inside it all. And remember, we stay curious. <laughs>